Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. In this question, we're going to be dealing with antennas, but more importantly, how to set up a station. This question comes from David Davis, looking to install his first antenna, and then uh, how to find out how to do all of this correctly. Of course, I've put out quite a few videos on these various subjects, touching on every aspect of setting up a new station. But a good place that you can go for this is the ARRL bookstore. And there is a book called Your First Amateur Radio HF Station. And the picture is here, and you can see you can order this through the ARRL store. Now, as far as an antenna is concerned, I think a great starter antenna is the ARRL kit. And it's for a 40, 20, 15, and 10 NFED half-wave antenna. And uh, you see here in this picture, it's actually pretty easy to construct. You do have to do a bit of toroid winding, but just a bit. Okay, and, and it, you'll be really proud of it when, when it gets done. And that'll help you get your AF station on the air. Now, I've in a situation here where I'm helping a local couple put up their first uh, technician station. They're going to move to general. And the first thing I think of is what to do, what to say, how to make a contact, and so on. Uh, on HF, we do this by calling CQ. There are parts of the bands that are better for this than others. I tend to ignore the 80 meter band because it's a lot of nets. It seems like there's a frequency that meets on every net. And even when there is nobody on, there may be somebody there who would suggest that you move on because the net will be starting soon on their frequency. Uh, remember that no one has a right to any frequency. But then again, for us to get along in civil society, we need to be civil. So please don't fall into the trap of arguing with someone over the use of a frequency. Just turn that big knob and find a different frequency. I'd move all together off of 80 and use the 40, 20, 15, and 10 that this antenna uh, provides. The two bands that it does not cover are 17 and 12. They're very small bands. And as you grow into ham radio, you'll undoubtedly replace your antenna with something else. So there you go. Remember that big knob is there in case you're frustrated. Just move somewhere else. There's an old saying that it doesn't do any good to wrestle with a pig. If you wrestle with a pig, you'll get covered in mud. And the pig enjoys it. And that has more truth in it than we may think. So don't feed these trolls. Uh, move to another place. Okay, well, I hope that helps answer your question and get you on the air, and I hope to hear great things from you soon. So until we next meet, 73.